how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my blog. Alright, okay, so uh, at the end of January, actually the, the first week of February, I did kind of a looking back on January vlog and at that time I sort of joked that maybe I should do one for every single month this year. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to necessarily keep that up as the year goes on, but having thought about it, it's a nice, fun little way of summing up how the year is going for me as the year is going, um, letting you guys stuff and letting you guys know stuff that doesn't necessarily uh, work into any of my other blogs, basically. <laughs> Um, so, February has been a very wet month. Um, anybody who lives in England, particularly in the south of the country where I am, uh, will know that we've had a couple of uh, storms, <laughs> basically a lot of wind and rain. <laughs> um, and even as I'm speaking, it, it's pouring down with rain outside again. Um, there's been a very it's been a very wet and cold month um, this year, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but you know, like the few times where there has been a little bit of sunshine, and I'm not a sun person normally because um, the the bright the brightness and, the, and I I have light my headaches can be light related. Um, so I'm not a big fan of the sunshine most of the time, but we've had so much rain <laughs> that it's just been nice those few times where the sun has sort of come out. Um, so this month, uh, the lovely Jade Hamilton has finally got herself some unlimited internet and we have definitely been uh, watching stuff again. Um, we started off with a little bit of um, Shakespeare and Hathaway uh, uh just after she got her internet sorted um and that was because i was just watching like the tail end of that for the first time um and because i just literally binged the whole three seasons uh she recommended that we start watching death and paradise together and we, we kind of have and we kind of haven't we've sort of been doing it in a slightly different way because i'm a very much i'm a binge watcher so if i sort of like start watching a new series i will just like keep watching as much as I can during the, the time period that I've got for watching stuff. Uh, whereas she likes to sort of dip in and out and, and do different things and you know she's seen the series before whereas I haven't. So she doesn't necessarily have the same motivation that I do to, to sit down and just watch every single episode uh, in a row continuously. Um, so we've sort of been doing it where I'll be like okay, this is the episode that I'm on, if you want to join me, you're welcome to join me, if not, let me know, if you want to join me later, and I'll tell you what episode I'm on at that time, so we've been sort of watching it together, but not in the same way that we that we usually do, and that is mostly so that I can just sit and enjoy it in my own time, and uh, not have to worry so much, because I'm, I'm, I'm one of those where if I want to watch something, then I'd rather just watch it, if I have to sort of wait on somebody else's schedule in order to sort of get through it I get a little bit frustrated especially if I don't have that much else to watch um I do have like my my YouTube stuff that I do uh, I do like sit down and enjoy and watch and, and and this that and the other but uh there haven't been very many GT lives <laughs> during February you know I, I know the reasons why for that they you know they've been busy doing all the stuff um and some of the like one of the games that they've been playing because it's, uh, I, I don't get on when I'm watching people play first person shooters and it's the same thing that I find when I'm playing first person anything. Uh, I say first person shooters, it's not strictly speaking, it wasn't a, but well, kind of a first person shooter game, but that, that first person view sort of game, um, I don't get on well watching them, I don't get on well uh, watching other people playing them, um, I don't get on well playing them myself, they tend to make me very headachy and, and very dizzy. And if it's like nothing but that continuously, um, which a lot of their uh, their choices this month have been very first person, um, I I tend to find that I, I 
I don't tend to watch those as well, or if, if I am watching them, then I'm not watching the screen, I'm just sort of listening to it, and that can just be a bit headachey, really. So it's just been one of those months where I've not been watching as much GT Live, but because I haven't been watching the GT Live, I've been able to binge other things, which, you know, it's been saying some roundabouts. Um, and I'm sure as the year goes on, I will probably swing back round the other way again because I know what I'm like. <laughs> um, so in terms of things that I've tried uh, this month in terms of, of my writing and stuff, um, I've tried using Bargain Booksy. Um, I've still got one promotion left to go which is Hyena Boy uh, next month. The, the promotion day for Hyena Boy is Tuesday the 24th, um, which as anybody who knows Hyena Boy will know, is Jay's birthday. Um, so when I originally uh, planned to release Hyena Boy, I wanted to originally release it on the 24th of March, or at least as close to that as possible with the way Lulu works. Um, but because, uh, and I'm sure some of you who've watched my blogs from back then will remember, I did try to enter this competition to try to get um, sort of professional people involved. Um, and uh, because I was waiting on the results of that, I pushed back uh, the release date for Hyena Boy, so it didn't ever, uh, get its 24th of March release. But in some ways that's kind of a good thing, because if that hadn't have happened, I wouldn't have been able to do all that extra work to it. I wouldn't have seen that other story going on in the background and the colours I see would never have existed. So in a lot of ways, actually, it's kind of a good thing that it again, didn't get that 24th of March release. But it felt kind of right that if I'm going to run a promotion with it, it should be the 24th of March because you know, why not? Why wouldn't you? Um, but yeah, so that's the last one to run. Uh, the promotions haven't been as successful as I would have hoped so far. Um, I'm still sort of fingers crossed that there might be sort of an accumulative effect uh, because of the way Booksy does work. Um, that I might be able to generate a little bit more um, as, as time goes on and I'm hoping that maybe High Boy will be will hit on the right day because um, strangely I, I did notice that the one that was kind of the midweek release did better than the one that was the weekend release which surprised me a little but then again that one was also sort of not quite the right weekend for pay weekend so like there are lots of factors that go on and I probably just didn't time it as well as I could have um, so yeah I'm a little bit worried that the 24th of March isn't necessarily the best timed but it is a midweek one so it's probably going to do slightly better than the weekend one did and it's also the only one not going into the fantasy it's going into the young adult um just because i feel like that's a better fit for it Heine Boy uh, relies a lot less on the uh, fantasy elements than the colors i see does and, and that's something else that i've done this month um i've updated the description for all of the books. Um, so you've still got the blurb, and the blurb has got like a little bit above it saying, you know, this, is, this is the blurb, <laughs> basically, like blurb, colon, and then and then you get the, the blurb bit underneath. Um, but I've put uh, extra little bits of description in with them as well, and that's been prompted from all of the things that I've done and all of the ways of all the sites I've used and, and how I've um, become really good at describing my books. <laughs> so like when when I was first sort of like coming to, I'm, I'm really bad when it comes to describing my books and, and knowing how to describe and talk about my books. And I'm getting a lot better at it. And um, one of the things I have read during the course of this month is that if you have a uh, good description that hits a lot of your um, targets, it does better in the algorithm. Um, so I was like, okay, Let's try doing that and, and seeing if, see if that has a bit more of an effect. Um, it's still early days with that. I certainly have only recently transferred or made the changes to Hyena Boy and because I see, I see, I think, literally in the last few days. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes um, and, and how things sort of press forward with that. Um, the other sort of book decision that I've made, um, 
So I've been trying to get um, Just Fiction to retire uh, Zero Conformity because I've never been happy with, with Just Fiction and um, I want to have the freedom to do what I want with the book uh, going forward. I know that I'm not necessarily going to do anything with it this year because it's part of a, a longer series and that series needs a lot of tidying up. Um, Likewise, as I've mentioned before, I've also retired uh, Time Forgets, which is the first book in the book on children marriage series, which is the first book that I published to Lulu um, all those almost 10 years ago at this point. Um, I, and again, I don't have any plans to re-release that this year because um, I want to sort of tackle both those books as their series, as part of their series, and working on the entire series and tidying up the entire series so that the continuity is good. Because one of the things that I've, I've gotten really sort of passionate about and really good at with the Never Eating collection is making sure the continuity works um, to the point where I'm, I kind of want to make sure that I've finished or almost finished um, the fourth book in the Never Eating collection before I finish the editing process on No Doors Allowed because I want to make sure that the continuity between them is really good. I kind of, they're, because they've got crossover scenes, I kind of want to be editing, almost editing both the books at the same time to, to make sure that the continuity, as I said, is good, make sure that it's, it's as smooth and as well formed as possible. I mean, it was a lot easier with um, the colours I see in Hyena Boy because Hyena Boy was so short and there were a lot less crossover scenes that, you know, the, the continuity worked because there was a lot of gaps and, and I was filling in those gaps. Um, whereas there were kind of less gaps with these two stories. <laughs> so the continuity needs to be as tight and as focused as possible. Um, so I'm still, I'm still aiming to release No Dolls Allowed before the end of this year. Um, but I'm kind of like, you, you know what? If that does sort of carry over more to the beginning of, of next year, I'm not going to worry too much about it. And whilst I'm sort of giving myself that little bit of extra time to finish We Giants so that I can make sure that the continuity between those two books are good, um, there are a pair of books that I could be working on in the meantime that are part of the same series, um, not the not part of the Neverator series, part of their own series. Um, which also, you know, would allow me, and they're, they're shorter books as well, because that's the thing about No, no Doors Allowed is it's a long book. Um, whereas these two books are a lot shorter. Um, yes, they need a lot of tidying up, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot less time to go through them, which means I'm going to be able to do more edits in a shorter amount of time and hopefully get, you know, one or both of them sort of ready for release sooner than I would be able to uh, get No Doors Allowed anywhere near that sort of state, especially when I'm trying to work it with the continuity of the Giants. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's kind of the big news from February, is that I have started editing um, a book that is not No Doors Allowed, but is probably going to be the next book that I release. Um, I At this point in time, I don't know if I'm going to be doing both books together or get one ready and release that one and then release the other one. Um, the way the books work is they then they can be read in any order, but it's not the companion way that um, Hyena Boy and The Colors I See work. They are uh, sequential in terms of the timeline. One does happen before the other one. Um, so you, you get one which is early in the timeline and then you've got the one that comes after it. So they technically have an order, but they will still work if you read them in the reverse of that order. Um, and technically they are part of a four book series, which I believe I have mentioned on this channel somewhere before. Um, but I have decided that the other two books in the series, for now at least, yeah, you don't kind of need them. So if you've got the other two books in the series, then the series becomes very chronological um, and you lose that kind of, you could read this in any order aspect to it because there's the third and the fourth book in the series 
are very heavily dependent on you having read at least one of the two previous books, um, if not both of them. Um, whereas the first book and the second book in the series do exactly what I set out to do with them to begin with. Well, actually, to be fair, I only set out to write one of them to begin with, <laughs> which is chronologically the second book in the series. Um, initially, that was kind of my focus. That was kind of the book that I was writing. Um, it was only kind of afterwards that um, I was kind of like, oh, you know what? I want to I wanna do a prequel to this, what sort of happened before this. And then I kind of fell in love with some of the characters and I, I wanted to sort of write, write more. Um, and that's how it ended up being a four book series. Um, but when I started writing the first book, I had very much in mind that you could read those two books in the order. And I sort of had that idea when I started writing the third book. So, you know, like my writing is like the first book is the second book chronologically. The yeah, so <laughs> I kind of jumped all over the place when when I was sort of writing it. I think because of that, because I'd written, I'd gone back and written the um, first book, and then the third book was supposed to be happening at the same time as the second book, but. In the previous location, you know, the location from the first book, so you don't have that sort of overlapping that you get with Hyena Boyne and The Colors I See. They were sort of like two very separate books, but they sort of sit in the same point in the timeline. And then the fourth book kind of happens after all of it. Um, it sort of kind of worked. But I don't think the third and the fourth book, as they are at the moment, are as strong as the first book and the second book. Um, so and in my head at this moment in time, I'm kind of like, you know what, I will release those as a mini series um, together. Um, but I, I still can't decide whether I want to definitively say this is book one and this is book two. <laughs> or if I just want to not. Um, I still don't know what the title for the series is going to be. Um, obviously, I know the title of the two books. I'm not saying them at the moment. Um, so, you know, you guys have something to look forward to next month when I'm a little bit further down the editing trail and have made a few more decisions about how all of this is going to work. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much how my February has been. So it's been more about trying new things and experimenting. Um, and yeah, that's how my February has gone. <laughs> all right, okay, so with that all said, um, I think it's time I wrap this one up now. Um, as I said, I don't know if I will do another one of these again at the beginning of April. Um, it all sort of depends on how, I, how I'm feeling then, if I remember then. But I think they're kind of a nice little yeah, as I said, um, a lot of this stuff is stuff that, you know, has happened during the course of the last month, things that I've decided on, things, you know, that don't necessarily fit in with anything else. So I think it's nice to sort of recap all those things that you guys don't necessarily have any clue about. <laughs> all right. OK, so with that said, I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.